Hi everyone and welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's episode, we're going to take a look at the Asus Prime Micro ATX AMD motherboard. This model is the B450M-A. And out of the box, this motherboard supports the Ryzen 3000 series. And this motherboard has the ability for overclocking. And it also includes Aurora Sync and six SATA connections. And this motherboard includes fan expert software, which should help keep your system cool during extensive gaming sessions or heavy workloads. And this motherboard retails between $80 and $90. So the question is, should you buy this motherboard or not? Well, let's take a look at the features and then we'll answer that question at the end of this video. So let's open the box and see what's inside. And remember, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. So first thing we get is the motherboard. Here's some documentation, user's manual. This is the user's guide. The application DVD. This is contact information and warranty information. This is the IO shield. And once again, the two SATA cables. And here's the motherboard. This is the M2 screw. Let's take a quick look at the connections on the motherboard. First, we have legacy ports for mouse and keyboard. It also comes with a VGA port, a DVI-D port, and an HDMI port. This motherboard includes four USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports. It also includes two USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports. This is the RJ45 Gigabit LAN port. And these are the analog audio ports. So let's take a look at the features on the motherboard itself. This motherboard has an 8-pin CPU power connector. And the CPU socket is the AM4. It has four RAM slots which allows for up to 64 gigs of DDR4 RAM, which should be enough memory. This also has a 24-pin ATX power connector, and once again, the chipset is the AMD B450. You'll also notice two SATA connections on the side and four SATA connections at the bottom, for a total of six SATA connections. And this is the M.2 socket, and this also comes with a PCI Express 3.0 x 16 slot and two PCI Express 2.0 x 1 slots. Now if you flip the motherboard around, you can see the four holes for a CPU cooler bracket. This motherboard is secured with eight screws that connect to the eight standoffs on your PC case. As far as installing this motherboard, it's pretty straightforward. And like I said before, Asus claims that this motherboard is compatible with Ryzen third generation processors. And I have installed many third generation processors on this motherboard, and I've had no issues. However, I've heard mixed reviews about issues with the third generation processors. And this motherboard supports PCIe 4.0. However, a BIOS update is mandatory. And the Asus BIOS screen is pretty basic and straightforward. I would have liked to have seen Wi-Fi built into this motherboard. However, for a budget motherboard, I can see why it's not included. So the question is, should you buy this motherboard or not? Well, if you're on a tight budget and you want to spend less than $100, then this motherboard could be for you. This motherboard is definitely a no-frills motherboard. It only has one GPU slot, and the motherboard is kind of flimsy, so be careful and take your time when installing it. And one more thing, the manual didn't show the correct connections for the power, reset, or LEDs. Fortunately, I've installed hundreds of motherboards, so it wasn't hard to figure out on my own. However, if this is your first build, this could be a problem. And if you have a larger budget, you may want to look at a motherboard that's more for gaming. So guys, after looking at the Asus Prime B450MA, 
I can definitely say this is a solid budget motherboard. And guys, there'll be a link in the description below to where you can buy this motherboard. And once again, guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thanks again for watching.